Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to an exciting, hopefully, another Minecraft discussion. Oh, Giovanni's been like speed dogs in the snow, running wild over there. So, anyway, my name is Kimberly Quinn. There he goes again. And I'm so, just so excited to be here. I forgot if I said my name twice, but I did. My apologies. Because I'm just so happy to have this conversation. I'm actually so happy to have this conversation in the woods. We're back at the notch because hunting season is finally over. Amen. Hallelujah. So what I want to have a talk about today, which I'm totally feeling because I'm so incredibly grateful. I'm grateful for the notch anyway. And I'm, it's just amped up right now because of the two weeks of trying to find different things, you know, different places to go that were safe for us with you know, rifles and everything. So anyway, this is a really good day. And I have to give a shout out to Abraham Hicks because she is my inspiration today. I listened to her this morning. And you know what? It's just such a good day. And oh my God, I'm a winter person. I'm grateful for winter. Just the snow sculpture, the ice crystals that are going on in the in the beaver pond and the beautiful the sound of the, of the, of the brook. Anyway, it's going to be a really good day. So here's the thing. How often when people say, good morning, do we just do this sort of autopilot, auto message, like a computer, you know, good morning, back, or mm-hmm, right, instead, when somebody says good morning, you know what, say, maybe try this, good morning, it is, it's a great morning, it is the greatest of mornings, it is phenomenal, I have all of my potential, I got all my potential today for anything to happen, it is so good, because I'm feeling good, I am focused on what, um, I'm feeling good. Why? Because I'm listening to my, I'm listening to my own guidance system on this day. I'm listening to my guidance system. I'm listening to the whispers. Oh, that brook is so beautiful. I'm listening to the brook. I'm listening to my inner voice to, for direction, which way to go. I am aware that other people cannot hurt my feelings without my permission. It just isn't, they can say whatever they want to say outside of me, but I am inside my frame and I am feeling good because I am swimming, basking, bathing in authenticity and nothing is going to hurt me on this day because I'm not allowing it. What I am allowing is for my life to unfold exactly as it's meant to unfold. I'm in receptive mode and here's how it starts. We start with our, oh, another same brook, different side. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm in receptive mode because this is how it started out to, for me today. My heart's desire, my heart's desire. We're not talking about ego stuff. We're talking about really listening to the inner voice and asking what our next move is, right? Our heart's desire. And that then moves to a place of listening and hearing the stillness that I'm in right now but so that we do know our next move. And then we get into a place of allowing, a place of just, it doesn't mean sit on the couch and have a sandwich, right? It means on this day, on this amazing day, my intention is to be as tapped in, tuned on, paying attention as I possibly can to my own inner self. Because I know that my inner self is connected to the creator of all things, universe, God, however you want to say. Okay, let's put it this way. I'm an extension of source energy. I'm right inside here, an extension of source energy, and today I am listening. Today is such a really good day. It's the greatest of days. It's going to unfold the best it possibly can. I am also aware that with my heart's desire that I give, my per I give myself permission for good things to happen on this day. Why? Because I deserve, the I deserve them because my spirit is good. I deserve them. I am in receptive mode. I am also aware that the abundance of the universe... Oh, that is so gorgeous. Look at that beautiful ice. Oh, my gosh. I'm also aware that the universe, the universal abundance is infinite. So by just by me, by me asking for all these good things to land on my lap, by me focusing on these good things to land on my lap, this does not take away from anybody else. It's not like taking two pieces of pizza when everybody else only had one. That, that would be rude and selfish. That's not what it's like because the pizza doesn't run out with the universe. So asking for good things to land in my lap on this really good day is okay. Not only is it okay, I am actually, I'm actually believing it. I am believing good things are coming to me. My life is getting better and better and better on this day because it's such a really good day. My life is getting better and better and better. How do you like those apples? I'm in receptive mode. The world, I have the world by the ass today. It's going to unfold the best it possibly can. I like myself. I love myself. And all good things are happening to me on this day. It is a really, really great 
day. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the beautiful Notch in Northern Vermont. Have a good one.